Hey guys, it's Zach here with another video today, and today we're talking about how to load test batteries as well as how I made my own DIY load tester. Um, I'll tell you, this isn't an original idea. This is actually what we use at work um, to load test batteries all the time. All the techs have them. They made them themselves set up this way. So I'll show you how this works, what it is, and um, how it works. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so what this is fairly simple and it's only about $7 to put together. So we have a car part. It's a starter ballast if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember what car it's for, but I know the part number is CR105 and I'll put a link to AutoZone down in the description below. So the thing is there's two sides to this. There's prongs that I have bent down. You can kind of see the, the poke up here. That's a prong that I bent down. And then you got these prongs. The reason these are bent down is because they provide no resistance. It's just, it's, it's virtually no resistance. Just an open path. This, on the other hand, provides uh, resistance from this prong to this prong of 5.7, 5.8 ohms. So that's important to know, that it provides resistance because the batteries themselves will act on that as it is being the load. So when we load test batteries, that's what's important. Two things before I get going here. One, polarity on this thing doesn't matter. You can put positive, negative on either side. This doesn't care as long as you're testing both of them, of course. And these little alligator clips I just added on to make my life easier. What I did is I connected them here on each prong on my meter. So when I put my meter up to test the voltage of each battery individually, um, will it'll have the load on it and then this will just be reading the voltage. So that is pretty simple. Also, this part, when you load test the batteries, gets extremely hot, which is why it's wrapped in electrical tape. So there's nothing unsafe about this besides the heat factor. It can burn you. It gets very hot. So if you choose to do this, because it's only $7, I don't see why you wouldn't if you're someone who is like me and have a panel in your house. This is a good thing to have. And if you're a tech out in the field, this is a good thing to have to quickly load test batteries as well. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hook it up and I'll show you how it works. All right, so first things first, we're going to disconnect a battery, which is going to cause a trouble. Also sending my phone a text message from this. I'm gonna stop plugging that. If you wanna see the video, just click the link. Um, so we got the battery here. We're gonna set the load tester wherever that's convenient. And that's hooked up. I have red and bl black alligator clips, so I just hook those up to the red and black, positive and negative, respectively, on my meter. So, oh, I should have mentioned, this requires a multimeter. Any multimeter that can read DC volts, this is a digital $20 multimeter off Amazon. So, pretty nifty, auto range is helpful too. So here's our voltage of zero. Now, when we're hooking these batteries up, we're gonna put one prong here and one over here. And what it's gonna do is this voltage is gonna show us what the battery reads and it'll start counting down. Eventually it should, if the battery's good, slow down and then eventually come to a stop, bounce up like 0.1 volts and then go back down. 0.01 volts. So that's what we're gonna test and make sure that happens. Otherwise, if the batteries are bad, they'll either go below 12 volts when we hook them up, or they'll just drop to zero when we hook them up. So we're gonna go ahead and hook these up and we'll make this happen. So normally in the field, I don't do this just for time's sake, but for video purposes and the fact that I'm holding a phone and only have one hand, I have this hooked up like this. And then when I put this feed on the negative side, it'll complete the circuit with this resistance here, and it'll start going. So we're gonna set our meter to DC volts. It should read about nothing. Millivolts is fine if it reads any. 
Now, when we attach it, it should shoot up to about 13. There you go. So we're going to watch it count down. Now, when it slows down enough, it'll bounce back up. There you go. 5.2 again, or sorry, 12.52 again. So that's how we know this battery is good. So we'll do the same thing for the other battery here. And we'll see what that one comes out to be. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. And see what the number goes down to there. There we go, saw it. And that, again, is also good to go. Now it's a little bit lower than the last one, but that also might contribute to the fact that this is a 12 volt, seven amp battery. And this is a 12 volt, eight amp battery. So all together, it's actually acting as a 12 volt, 8.5 amp hour battery. So, um, like I said, this thing is now super hot. And I'm actually having a hard time touching it, even though I wrapped a bunch of layers of tape around here. That's what the tape's for, is just kind of help me be able to hold it a little better. X is a great hand warmer though. <laughs> so that is load testing. All right, so I just hooked the batteries back up. I can immediately hear the charger trying to go. Hear that humming? So that's good and it just got the text that the trouble monitor had restored. Um, what I did is I added these pieces of tape that just say LT 1217, LT 1217, so December 17th, <laughs> December of 2017, and they were installed in October of 2017 when I first got the panel. So these guys are all hooked up, and that is basically it, and that's how we load test batteries in the field too. Um, what's different though is that we, um, you know, in the field we would have to go around to every power supply if there's a radio in the system that we have access to there's a battery in there that we need to check so there's a lot more that we do in the field than just two batteries most of the time but it does happen sometimes so that's how you load test batteries that's the diy load tester any um links to the parts are down below um so if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video